welcome to the stage a girl from Lithgow, uh, Karina Sitchabad. Come on. When you were born right here in Lithgow? Yes, I was, I was born in Lithgow Hospital, the okay. old one. 15 or 16 years ago? That's right, yeah. 23 years oh, ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> the old Lithgow Hospital. And right now, you, uh, what, what are you doing with your life right now? Um, so I finished studying at university last year and I'm currently working as a registered nurse at the Children's Hospital at West Hay. Uh, <laughs> And you must see some pretty real situations yeah. in your job. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough job. You see a lot of, I mean, you see kids and they're going through the hardest things and families going through the hardest things, yeah. We just heard Emmanuel telling us about uh, when he got to know a guy called Jesus, yeah. that that started to put things into perspective for him. Uh, that's an experience that you've had as well. Yes, I, have a, <laughs> I do have a story about how God, how real God is in my life. But that wasn't always the case. You were about 16 when you found Jesus. Yeah, that's right. When I was, um, I grew up in a Christian home with Christian parents, but um, it never really became real for me until I made a decision for myself when I was 16 years old that I really wanted to follow Jesus and find out what that was for me. Uh, you know, there might be some guys here who wonder what that's like, and in a few minutes after the choir sings, Bill Graham is going to tell us a bit more about what that means to make a decision for Jesus. What exactly is going on when that happens and who exactly was Jesus? But right now, Karina, why don't you tell us about the time when you faced some really difficult times within your own life and uh, you were able to cope with that through your faith? Sure. So, as you know, I'm 23 years old and I was born in Lithgow. I grew up in Lithgow, went to the schools, I went to Cool, Lithgow High. <laughs> public schools um, and then I moved to Sydney when I was 18 to go to university I went to Sydney Uni and now I'm working as a nurse um, I come from a family of three kids I have an older brother and a younger sister and I just wanted to share with you a story from my life um, it comes from a really honest place and I hope hopefully it will encourage you whoever you are wherever you are I just wanted to share this from my own life um, four years ago my older brother was diagnosed with leukemia, which is cancer of the blood. Um, he underwent countless rounds of chemotherapy. He went through emergency operations. He went into the intensive care unit. Um, he just went through so much. And just before Christmas last year, and just before his 30th birthday in December, um, he passed away. I just wanted to share with you my personal experience of God through this and how without God, I don't know where I'd be today. When my brother was first diagnosed with leukemia, my whole family stood around the bed and the doctors told us, they said, you, you know, you have an aggressive form of leukemia, of cancer, we have to start treatment right away. They then started to tell us the plan. You're gonna go um, through seven rounds of chemo and then if the cancer's still there, then we're gonna go to a bone marrow transplant. And they said, we're gonna, we're going to take blood tests from all your family members to see if they're a match. And at that moment, I said, God, if that's what he needs, then correct my blood right now because I want to be a match because that's what he needs. And you know what? Not everyone finds a compatible bone marrow match. And not even every cancer patient gets the chance to live to have a transplant. But I didn't doubt it for a minute. I just knew that God would have corrected my blood and even after my brother went through seven rounds of chemotherapy, they found out that the cancer was still there and I got to be a stem cell donor for my brother. And that's just, just because of God. Unfortunately, even though the transplant was successful, they later found cancer in his spinal fluid and that he had to keep um, going through treatment. And something I've realized through this journey is that bad things happen to good people. You know, bad things happen to good and bad people. You know, I'm not saying we're good, I'm not saying I'm bad, but I've realised that bad things happen whether we believe in God or whether we don't. It's just a fact of life. And even when bad things happen, I know that God is looking after me and my family. The day my brother passed away, my sister was overseas in Haiti, which is in the Caribbean, really far. Um, We'd been tr desperately trying to call her to tell her 
um, the devastating news. But as soon as my brother went into the emergency department that morning, we were just trying to call and we couldn't get through. We didn't even have a phone number. And then finally one of her friends emailed me and they gave me a phone number. And I got through and luckily it was someone who spoke English. And I said, I need to speak to Emily. I need to talk to her. It's an emergency. And he gave me a phone number. And we finally got to talk to Emily and tell her the horrible news. But what was so incredible and what was so mind-blowing about what had just happened was only revealed to us when Emily arrived back in Sydney a few days later. She said to me, she said, Karina, who called? Who made that call? And I said, I did. And she said, did you use Google Translate? I'm like, what are you talking about? She said, my friend answered the phone and said someone's, someone who spoke Haitian really well was talking to, talking to him. And I said, no, I was speaking in English. And he replied me in English. And everyone in the room can tell you that we were speaking in English. And she, just, she said the complete opposite. She said, no, he said someone who spoke with a really good accent in Haitian was speaking to him and he replied in Haitian. And my... We've just experienced so many things that would have been impossible, but that's just because of, we just have to say, you know, that is God looking after us, you know. We wouldn't have been able to talk to us, to my sister, if we didn't get that phone number. And so, I just wanted to share, with, share these stories with you because where I'm right now is in a very deep place of grief. But I just want to show and highlight to you how God has been there for my whole family throughout every season. And I know, and I just want to acknowledge that pain is so real in our lives. You know, losing someone you love, that hurts. Seeing someone you love suffer, that hurts. And you might be experiencing pain for any kind of reason. You might be having marriage problem, that hurts. You might be having financial issues. You might, you, your children might not speak to you. You might be having stress, you might be struggling with depression, with insecurities, you know, we all go through these things. Every one of us, I know, I know that we might have sickness, you might have a broken heart, or you might just be feeling lonely and empty. These feelings are so real, and I know every one of us feels them. And maybe you might be confused about what the future holds for you. And I can tell you that I've been in that dark place too, and I'm still going through this dark place. But I've realized that that's why I have to lean on God. I've realized that nothing I can do can create any certainty for, for my own future. No matter how much money I have, no matter what I do, I can't protect myself from feeling pain. I can't even protect myself from experiencing hurt or confusion. And I know not, none of us can. We can't do that. But in this, the very middle of this dark cloud, which I feel like it consumes me sometimes, I, I heard God reach out to me and say, Karina, I have made a way for you to hope again. And I want you to hope. And the only way for you to have true hope is to trust in me. I've found that we all go through good times and through bad times. But I know because I have a relationship with God, my foundation is unshakable. I know my brother is okay now, and he actually defeated cancer. Cancer can't touch him, because he's in heaven. And I know that my soul, which lives forever, is secure. Because no matter what I go through, no matter what pain, no matter the depression, the pain, the struggles, or the insecurities I experience, I have a God who cares deeply for me and he gives me hope and strength for each day. And so I just wanted to be real with you today because not every day is a good day. And I know that's true for every one of us. And we all deeply want to be loved and I want to tell you today that you're loved beyond your understanding. God is here for every single one of us. No matter what you're going through, He's there for you because He's been there for me and I'm no one special. And I know that God wants to give us hope no matter what situations we're in. And I'm going to be stronger because God gives me the strength. So even though pain is incredibly real, the hope that God gives me is an even better reality. 
And I'm just so thankful that, thank you for listening to me, but I'm just so thankful that you're all here because I want you to have that hope. I want you to have that unshakable hope that no matter what you go through, you just know that you're going to be okay because God loves you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Karina. What a wonderful story and what an authentic expression of what it is to be a Christian. When you know the living God, you enter a reality that will sustain you in every situation. I have to say, friends, we're going to hear more about that from Will Graham in a few minutes. But before we do...